I, I mean, everything is actually handmade and hand painted in Egypt. So all our raw materials have gone up by more than 50%. However, uh, looking at our pricing strategy last year to this year, we only managed to squeeze it and push it up by our, an average of 10-15% because we totally understand what is going worldwide. But definitely we are affected here in the UK as well as uh, the production which is taking place in Egypt. Maybe they used to buy five, six pieces about 10 years ago. Now, two to three pieces. So it has impacted on the customer behavior, but they are still going for something special, unique and handmade, even with the difficult time. they'll share if you know they open on Christmas Day and you get a little taste of them all. Um, <laughs> so the chocolates in the crackers, yeah. they, they will last until Christmas. Email address at the top and then... Um, Hello. I mean, it is awfully depressing, obviously. Um, there's not really much I can do to like counteract that. I guess making more of the like smaller price items, so like the chocolate bars, um, rather than buying more expensive, because they are expensive chocolates, don't get me wrong, I appreciate that they're a luxury. Um, rather than buying like a 24 pound chocolate box, you might buy a chocolate bar, like that's totally fair enough. Um, I do always feel like Christmas is like a time when people when, when, you, when you're trying to spend less money, generally you still spend money on your friends and family because I think it's just such a nice thing to do. And people like to share, like to give gifts and stuff. So I'm hoping it's going to be fine. It's obviously very early days. It might be terrible. I might not sell anything, but... I think everybody has that little bit tucked away just to do the Christmas thing and even if it's one small little item that they get just to bring them that special feeling I think people will still do it and are seemingly still doing it so I know it's tough for lots of people but a little tiny treat works wonders so of living crisis hasn't really affected my product I think because my product is quite special and I do have a lot of customers that follow me year in year out and they love the fact that it's hand embroidered heirloom of the future As a nice family thing to do for people, sending a card can be a really lovely way of letting them know you're thinking about them. And how often is it that you actually take the time to sit down and write someone a message? It's a really lovely thing to do. It's a very Christmassy thing to do. I hope people can find the money to do it because I think it's an important message and it's important for 
the spirit of Christmas. So, yeah. Uh, with the cost of living crisis, uh, people can come here with different budgets because there is a whole range of, of, of gifts and items that people can buy. So they can work to what they, what they have to spend. 